Hi, my name is Sean Walker, and I'm a Principal Emerging Practices Architect and part of the Ranger team here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about reconciliation. So today I'm going to go through what reconciliation is. I'm going to talk a little bit about manual reconciliation, talk a little bit about troubleshooting, and then kick into a demo and show a manual reconciliation. So in simple terms, software reconciliation is an automated process which calculates the compliance based on how many rights are in use. So another way to say that would be how many installations there are compared to the number of active rights that have been purchased. So doing this helps keep the license position accurate and up to date without having to do manual calculations uh, and spreadsheets and things like that. <clears throat> so although the reconciliation process sounds very simple, on the back end, there's a very detailed script that executes. Um, that reconciliation process takes into, into account many of the, the different um, things besides software installations. It takes into account things like license type and license use rights. Um, so an example of a license type would be uh, if the license was a user license or a device license or a core based license. And then some of the use rights would be and things that it looks at would be how many processors and cores are in use. Is the device part of a cluster? Um, is it a development environment? Um, is it, if it's a user license, does the user have the same software installed on multiple devices? So all those things and many more are considered or are taken into account during the reconciliation process. So software reconciliation runs on a scheduled job and that's set to run weekly by default, but you can run it on demand for specific publishers or for all publishers or can even be grouped um, based on country, region, company, cost center, department. So what else do you need to know about software reconciliation? Well, the SAM admin role is required to manually execute a reconciliation. So regular SAM users can't run a reconciliation. One thing I do want to caution though, is if you have a large environment, running a reconciliation in that large environment can really potentially, could potentially bog down the system. So you might want to check with your system admin um, to make sure that running reconciliations aren't going to have any kind of performance impact. Um, they're typically, we run it weekly typically because uh, we do it after hours when the system's not as busy. And so if there is any performance issues because of the large, large data set we're analyzing, um, there won't be any performance problems. Something else that's really important to know is starting in the Yokohama release, all the reconciliation script includes are being moved from the family release. So things like Xanadu or Yokohama, um, they're being moved now into the store application. So what that means is that if there's updates to the reconciliation scripts, you're gonna be able to get them more readily rather than having to wait for a family release. You can just go to the store and get the newest version. So when you're upgrading to Yokohama, if you're an existing SAM customer, you're gonna to wanna to take a look and see if you've made any customizations to your reconciliation script includes. Uh, and move those customizations to the new scripts because those old scripts are being deprecated. So <clears throat> the reconciliation can be run manually. Um, you would go to the license usage dashboard on the software asset management workspace. And from there, you can go to the reconciliation tab and click the run reconciliation. From there, you can choose whether you want to run for all publishers or you could pick a specific publisher or you can also um, reconcile based off things like country, department, uh, and region, etc. Now, something that might be interesting to know, and you don't, aren't going to need this very often, that's for sure, um, is the reconciliation results. You can review them on that da same dashboard, but in the event that a reconciliation job doesn't complete successfully, you can navigate to this table that I've listed here, which is the SAMP Recon Progress Summary Table. And what that will do is it'll show you um, potentially a list of any errors that might be happening. So in this screenshot, you can see that, that an error was there. Uh, I don't really know what that error particularly means. So what I can do as a SAM admin is I can open a case and say, 
I am having this error with reconciliation process. Can you please help fix it? Or maybe the error is something you you recognize. Maybe it's a more simple error and you can fix that as well. But again, this doesn't happen very often, but this SAMP recon progress summary table is very, very handy um, should you need to investigate any issues. So now I'm gonna jump into an instance of Yokohama and show you the manual reconciliation process. Okay, so I've logged into a Yokohama instance with Software Asset Management installed. Um, let's take a look quickly at the scheduled job. So if you do want to change the scheduled job uh, when the reconciliation runs, you could go to Scheduled Jobs, so System Definition Scheduled Jobs, and you could look for re rec Recon is what I search for, and I can see here I've got a SAM Software License Reconciliation job. So as you can see right now, this job is set to run weekly on Mondays at 2 a.m. So again, if you take a look at the rest of your um, environment, see when other things are running, you can adjust that to run at different times. Now you will need a system admin privilege to be able to take a look at this scheduled job and make any modifications. So work with your system administrator to do that. So if we go back to the software asset workspace, what I can do now is trigger a reconciliation. So I've got TechSmith in the system right now, and we can see that I have nothing really, no entitlements uh, or anything like that for any of these versions. And I've got a couple of entitlements ready to go here. So I want to reconcile my entitlements to what I've purchased against what's installed within the environment. So what I can do to trigger that rather than waiting till Monday, I can actually go to the reconciliation tab and I can hit the Run Reconciliation button. Um, now remember, as I said, if this is a large environment, you need to use caution and work with your system administrator to see whether or not uh, running a, a reconciliation would impact the instance or not. And in this case, it's a very small instance. It's just a demo instance. So running reconciliation does not take that long. So what I just did there is I actually selected the publisher TechSmith. So you can select multiple publishers if you just want to run a couple of publishers, or you can just leave it at all publishers if you want. Um, and you can also pick to um, run the reconciliation by group, but I don't have any entitlements set up that really need that kind of breakdown. Um, so I can go ahead and click on the run reconciliation and we can wait for this job to finish. Oh, we can see it's already 62% done. Oh, look, 100% done. So you can see that was very quick in my instance. There was no pause in the video on this one. So now I can go to back to the publisher uh, dashboard and I can open up the TechSmith card and we can see, I'm just gonna close out this old instance and we can see that now we have uh, license metrics results for this particular um, application. So we can see TechSmith Snagit, 25 licenses owned, three licenses used. So that's what happened is when I ran the reconciliation against TechSmith, took a look at my entitlements, took a look at what was installed and gave me that first glimpse of what I have going on in my environment. And I can see here that um, this particular 2023 is compliant. One of the things I wanted to show you is some of the places you can go to check out if the reconciliation has failed. So you can see here, I've got a couple of the past reconciliations have only partially completed. And so I might wanna see what's going on there and why it's partially completed. And you can't really see much from this particular view or even if you drill into this particular view. So what I can do is I can actually go to the uh, SAMP Recon Progress Summary table. So I'll go to dot list here and I can take a look at there's the reconciliation results for 1094 and I can go into here in a bit more detail. And so this is going to show you all the different lines of, of things that it's happened during this reconciliation process. Um, and if I scroll through here, I might be able to find the error and here we go here i've got this error here it says reconciliation failed here so i can see that the reconciliation has failed type error cannot convert null to an object now i don't really know exactly what this means sometimes it might actually tell me a little bit more um, 
about it, but what I can do here is I could actually take this information and I could open a case for support and have support help me try and troubleshoot what this specific error is. Sometimes it is a little bit more clear and you might actually be able to resolve the issue. Most of the time we've seen it, it's, it's been with something to do with an entitlement configuration that causes the errors. So hopefully you can use the, um, the SAMP rec Recon Progress Summary Table to maybe help you investigate should you have any reconciliation errors. Maybe you can fix it on your own, or maybe you now have the details to open a support case. So in today's video, we reviewed what reconciliation process is and, and when it's executed. We demonstrated how to review the reconciliation scheduled job and how to run a manual reconciliation. And I also quickly showed you how to potentially troubleshoot any errors or at least get some information to be able to open a support case. For more information, you can go to the ServiceNow product documentation site. There's a good article on run software reconciliation that can give you a bit more details. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.